Yo, 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 it's birthday cam here, man. Today we're gonna react to some How to Whore Raccoons Legally by the Urban Rescue Ranch. I mean, I had to watch this shit nigga all the time, like, around last year. It, nigga, he really been going up for it. He didn't even have 2.6 million. Did he even have, I think he had, only had a million or something like that. But we're gonna watch this real quick. Right his mouth and eat it. Ten more mouths to feed. Look at this dude. <laughs> he had an arm. <laughs> Gort has befriended a duck. Just a harmless old water moccasin. They still haven't found out that I'm fishing here on their property. These guys need <laughs> to learn how to hunt fish. I got him 150 minnow. November 23rd, 2023. Good morning, everybody. Today is the big day. Big Ounce and I are going to be taking this Mississippi kite to all of things wild. And we are going to be going with them to release the bobcat on a big sanctuary in San Antonio. And this sanctuary has now? lab monkeys, tons of other wild Wildlife because they take in 10,000 wild animals every year. And hopefully they'll let us film so that we can get inspired and do this. Bruh, possums creep me up so bad. Why they all had a mouth open like they want to bite you? Even when they do like you, they just had a mouth open all the time trying to play dead or something. Oh, it's weird to me. I don't know. And hopefully they'll let us film so that we can get Look at that nasty ass shit. Having said that, they're on 212 acres, so we're a little bit limited here with space. But with the right big ounce, anything is possible. Woo That's it, guys. I'm going to leave big ounce in That's the living awesome. so that he can snooze. But like I said, I still don't quite have my permits for this kite yet, even though I've had him in the brooder and I've been feeding him. I can only temporarily hold these boys as I transfer them to other rehab. Old Uncle Ben now has enough experience to get his own permit. Because this is the eighth Mississippi kite that I've picked up from Waco alone. All together with this and all the stuff we've been doing at All Things Wild, I have at least... Is he nice? Now. And that doesn't even include Cooper's hawks, the red tail hawks we we've picked up or any of the owls and if you guys look i've rescued about one of these guys on average per video for the last five videos on the channel oh my goodness okay we're gonna be moving this little bobcat okay and you're sure he can't bite through this right <laughs> yes he actually kind of can oh he's chill yeah he's good i thought he was gonna be cringe oh my goodness <laughs> oh, oh okay okay look at this cringe half blind possum no, he's so scared. where's i Look at this dude. Come here, Bujo. Where's oh, our arm? Everybody, I have retrieved the bag, cute. And I'm going to be driving with this precious I'm little deadly, but for cute. two hours. But this little fellow will be going to wildlife rescue and rehabilitation. Most likely deadly, lots but... Of other bobcat and get right back to the wild. Oh, I want to pet him. Here we are, Candalia, Texas. A beautiful land filled with live oaks and now bobcats. We are going to an amazing 200-acre facility that's full of wildlife and sanctuary animals for this guy to spend the rest of his life. Here we are, wildlife rescue and rehabilitation. Right off the bat, this is the nicest wildlife rehab I've ever seen, I think. Looks like they pour millions of dollars of donations into all of this equipment. And, and they basically have their own fully functioning vet clinic with a full-time vet on staff. A brand new x-ray machine, a dozen buildings, and at least 50 full-time staff. All right, everybody, I was not going to film in there because all of those animals are being rehabbed. Now, these guys do have monkeys and lions and a lot of other stuff back lions? there. Lions? But their policy is to minimize contact with the animals, even the sanctuary animals like pigs and goats but these little raccoons at all things wild Hello. finished up their time in the maternity ward and it's time for them to move to their pre-release enclosure <laughs> oh he's friendly oh all things wild is running out of capacity for some of their small mammals so i'm taking a bunch of their workload he's emoting <laughs> hit the gritty little guy these are the most precious oh god you are alive and an injured baby black vulture came in is it weird i've never watched man be uh i've People said that was weird that I've never ever watched Bad Beat. I just heard about it. I've never ever watched it. Precious creatures alive. And an injured baby black vulture came in. All right, everybody. There's 10 raccoons. I hate vultures. Right now, count them 10 raccoons. I came with a Mississippi kite and I'm leaving with 10 raccoons. And all these guys will be going to my facility because we have plenty of space for them in the shade. Oh boy, 10 more mouths to feed. Also, I forgot to tell you guys I adopted this special needs goat that has a crooked neck. He actually walks around like that all the time. He's a little skittish, but he'll come around and eventually <laughs> and he would have gotten sold at auction and eaten if i hadn't gotten them so somebody referred them to me and i just took them in look at that little fella but okay you guys here Brain's we are here like it hurts patients at the urban rescue ranch wildlife rehab a bunch of dang binguses and directly pre-release we're gonna move them out into here so they can learn how to hunt and fish in a little pool that i'm gonna put in there and then they'll be released we'll probably be releasing these guys early september but these guys probably won't be released for another few months they have shade in here all day unlike their last place 
Now, same thing goes for these guys. I'm gonna get a little cat tower and put it in here for these guys to climb on. Chip, kid. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Later that night. Good morning, everybody. I'm here doing the uh, $20 Walmart fishing challenge. This is all you need to catch big fish, you guys. And now I can write this off. Okay, guys, this is Slow Rise. It's the best pizza place in Waco, and it's on the water. Why have? Here's the price in Uncle Ben, but I can't afford to buy pizza. Well, right here, take a look at this, you guys. You see, people already bought it and threw it away. So we can take a couple of these and go down to the dock. Oh, fish on. What's up, guys? It's me, Thug Shaker 420. Today, I am uh, landing this fish that I caught here at this pizza joint. The only way for me to get it is to fully move over uh, to this dock. The only way for me to do that is for me to walk over top of all of these tables and chairs. This is the $20 Walmart, a uh, $20 Walmart fishing challenge. Tank's here. We got this beautiful big old catfish. Bro, is he even probably be doing it? Go ahead, Tank. Throw the rod. Yeah, throw it as far as you can. Come on. Oh, 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 no, no, oh, oh, oh. Oh, take a look at this, you guys. I'm here at this pizza joint. We just That's a catfish, still haven't found right? That I'm fishing here on their property. Whoa, look at that big, beautiful blue catfish. <laughs> but this is it, you guys. You only need $20 to catch a real nice blue catfish. Catfish challenge, uh, $20 at Walmart. Okay, guys, we love the fish here at the Urban Rescue Ranch. We don't eat fish here. Got a lot of really? chicken wings in his belly. Because people all throw their scraps off that dock up there. You see it? You see it? Do you? But that's it, you guys. You just need to go and get a little bit of food at the Slow Rise Slice House. Oh, I got a little snake. Don't mind if I do. This is a diamondback water snake, guys. Oh, he's biting me. Oh, hey, this is just a harmless old water moccasin. Or oh, I hate snakes. I don't care how uh, yeah, harmless it is. No. Mm -mm. Yeah, thank you. Just take a bite. Take a bite. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and release this little fella. Yeah, Goodbye. The next day. All right, everybody. As I said before, Gustavo's doing really well in here and he loves his little enclosure oh! but there are Dang, a lot of mosquito kill him. larvae in here and i do want him to have some enrichment i got him 150 minnows and these minnows are going to be able to hide in all these little nooks and crannies from him. oh look he just caught one look at that they're going to be perfect enrichment for this little guy and they're going to be able to live in here and eat all the mosquito larvae and that should make this little ecosystem in here a little less cringe also the crappy blappies are doing well back here and all the pigeons live in here and eat their Ooh, look at these cringe uh, uh, birds. Okay, and there's one other thing I gotta show you guys. This is a raccoon that a woman dropped off that she was rehabilitating illegally. So I kept him in here in quarantine. Hello. Should not be this friendly at all. I'm gonna go ahead and move him in with the other raccoon. So Bro, he is friendly as hell, isn't he? A raccoon this size should not be this friendly at all. You know, stinker. I got all these yeah, He's playing around, around with him like a little dog. And I'm gonna put him in here with these other raccoons. But now that he's done being quarantined, and so are they, they should be able to keep each other from being too social with humans. But this is actually his first time interacting with another wild raccoon. Woman that was taking care of him illegally never had him interact with any other raccoon. But hopefully, by keeping him with these guys and giving him lots of wild things to hunt, he should wild up and be ready to go back into the wild. Wait, which one is so which? I'm assuming one of the left. Raccoons, you guys, they all poop in their water. So the second you refill their water, they just poop and pee in it and make it disgusting. Having said that, these guys need to learn how to hunt fish. So I'm going to be pouring these goldfish in here for them. And I'm going to refill these nasty waters that they pooped in. What the dog doing? As you can see, it's really good enrichment for these what guys. What the dog doing? Chase around goldfish like that. And he's just going to pop that. No, it's so weird how they actually use their hand like real humans out here. It's really creepy. But that's one of the best possible enrichment. Really interesting. That would be creepy he's interesting. Let me out of here. He's growling at me every time I try and touch him. You see that? Look at these little fellas learning how to fish. It's like the foxes, though, you guys. This is the last time I'm going to be filming this because I want these animals to stay wild. But I can probably still film from outside of the cage. Uh oh, okay. Now we need to get this guy off the gate so I can get out of here. Come on, get out. Oh, God. Dang, okay, he's better than action. It. I'm going to leave these guys alone now. Yeah, so brother. I, I'm not a, a good I'm not tame with here. For all these, guys. these fellas have a similar setup, but they're hiding. But now I'm going to go ahead and leave these guys alone so that they can get back to being wild. And if everything goes well, we should be able to release them in the next few weeks. But this is half cock. And he's a bit skittish still, but he's coming around. But the roof on this enclosure is almost done. Refilled the water, hay, and feed for all these guys. Hey guys, sorry about what I did to your families, but here's an important channel announcement. For some reason, the baby's in a real good mood tonight. Bro, he got B. You need to have a good wingspan. We're arm wrestling now. We're arm wrestling. Then I give him a little kiss. See, it's not that hard to defend yourself from a kangaroo. You just have to confuse. Yeah, he like a bro. 
But he's still my precious little baby boy. He's still going to be able to fight Jake. The baby, in the ring, he November is big as shit. 2023. I actually do have a little clip for that for you guys. I'll show it to you right now. Hey guys, it's me, Jake Paul. That's right. You heard it. You heard it here first. I'm going to be fighting the baby. Uh, this is a legally binding, a verbal contract agreement. I'm going to be fighting the baby uh, November 23rd, 2023. We actually do have audio of this. Uh, and, uh, and I'm just too lazy to match it up. Pretty neat hug, guys. I'm actually teaming up with the yellow guy now, and we're both gonna eat your family if you don't like this video. What do you think of that, guys? Jake Paul actually has a legally binding agreement to fight Jake Paul November 23rd, 2023. Oh, Jake, you should have... Oh, you should have seen the writing on the wall, Jake. Look at this. I'm Dang, eating, scratch. I'm real bad. This is gonna be you, Jake Paul. You should have agreed to fight him when he was a baby. You had two years, Jake Paul. You had two years to come. Bro, leaking. Fight him when he was a baby, but now you gotta fight him as an adult. <laughs> I couldn't do Get it. Back here, mm -mm. The baby, I'm not done. Yep, I'm gonna have to wash these off with iodine whenever I get. I mean, I guess it happened to him all the time. They were all the animals. But because I left this hose in this one, it ended up vacuuming all the water out. There's all my pibbins. But the Rhea have nice fresh water. Inca dove moment. And these guys have fresh water. And we'll just look at water look green. Kumala and garbanzo beans are still best friend. And I don't know why Kumala is still out here. I guess I forgot to bring him inside. But we're going to have some folks out tomorrow to treat the pond for the algae. And in the next video, I'm probably going to buy 100 more minnows and plecos. I'm just going to fill this place with plecos. Gort has befriended a duck. Wow. Okay, goodbye, children. This is precious. And Remington and Winchester are best friends now. Big okay. Ounce is here working on the countertop. And as you can see, Halfcock just has free range of the whole front yard. But all right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching <laughs> you. this video. We got I a real Cute. for you in the next video. Another one of our interns came by and his car exploded. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next video. He wholesome. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Uh... All right, guys. Do you <laughs> That's a good little video, y'all. A little wholesome little video. It's educational video. But yeah, it's birthday cam here, man. Hope you have a fantastic day or night whenever you watch this. And peace.